today we need to try to move the rest of the animals. <laughs> as fun as this is, we gotta deal with the nightmare. All right, guys, next morning, we're gonna see if there's any babies. Uh, we're gonna try to sneak up on them. Uh, guesses? I don't think there's gonna be any more babies. Ooh, I'm gonna say two. Any new babies? Good you job, know, boys. You cut a new baby boy. I don't see any new ones. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Good morning. Okay, good. We got the little baby goat over there. Little girl. Another little girl. You guys saw the other ones cuddling outside. No new babies yet. <laughs> that one. Huh? So they're just cuddling with him. Yeah. Oh, how exciting! How exciting! Um, no new babies yet, but. The fact that they were just cuddling, they are uh, doing so good. I mean, these dogs are legit just the best. They're just doing so awesome. And we're very, very proud of these goat mamas. <sighs> doing good. But today, we need to try to move the rest of the animals. <laughs> as fun as this is, we gotta deal with a nightmare. Boy. <laughs> Good morning. Alright guys, we went and had breakfast and now we're gonna see if there's maybe some new goats doing. I don't see any. Alright guys, so you know we moved these guys. We need to move the rest of the animals. What we're gonna do, we're gonna switch some things up. We're gonna take this little fence and we're gonna move it uh, in there. That way they can have all of this because we need the cows and the pigs out there. We haven't filled in the dirt in there, so we're gonna block it off. Uh, we got a lot to do today, and you gotta go back to work. Yeah, I gotta leave tonight, so let's get this stuff done. Let's go. All right, so y'all know we got this huge gap on the bottom for now. We need to uh, cover it so the pigs uh, can't push through, and then that the goats won't, uh, the baby goats can't get through also. We'll still make it where you can get over there. So we are gonna take this down over here and move it so that way they'll have this whole open area. Just kind of give them a little bit more room. All right, so what we're thinking, we just need to block this off high enough that the uh, pigs and goats can't get through. All right, so that's basically where we're trying to get it right there. We'll go up just a little bit more, but where, come on. Come on. You can, you oh, can you jumped it outside. Oh. Come on. He said no. There, there you go. go. So as you guys saw, I easily jumped that. So again, very easy. We're doing this so the boy goat won't jump over. If he does, we'll just go up a little more. These dogs can easily watch. We'll show you. Hey, cowboy. Come here. Woo! This ain't like nothing. I mean, these are champion dogs. Come on, cowboy. Cowboy. Come on, buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh, I like it's nothing. So that's why we're not just using the gate so that the boys can get in and out to their herd. Yes, we want them to be able to protect the pigs and, and everything else as well. But to get in with the uh, goats, you guys saw, they are just the sweetest with these goats. Yeah. We could not have been better parents and raised them better. They're just the <laughs> best. Uh, I'm just glad it's just the, we absolutely got the perfect guardian dogs truly again massive thank you to Porter Valley Ranch for that mm -hmm. massive 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 thank you for uh, gifting us with these awesome boys yeah. All right, guys we're gonna empty this water More. people love to see us water our animals yeah. <laughs> all this hard work paying off just seeing it in use is Ah, there's just nothing. That's just the best feeling ever. Again, we took the time out of our lives to not build the tiny house, to build this, mm -hmm. to do all this, and this is the payoff right here. 100% worth it. Got this uh, little wall taken out. Little baby was already running around. So now they have all three pins. This whole side, I think they're fine. The uh, hard part now, he trying to run. <laughs> the hard part now is getting the rest of the animals. 
boys? Hey. Come here. <laughs> Where are you going? Got the uh, trailer over here. It's pretty bright now. The sun's coming out. And we're going to try to move the pigs and uh, old Lambo. We'll see which one goes first, but we do not want them at the same time. All right, the plan is feed Lambo over here, and then we'll go over there and uh, try to get the pigs in. Hopefully it'll work that way. To your new home, bud. Come on, boys, girls. Come on. Look. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It is. Come on. Come on. Look at all this feed. Come on, boy. Come on. So we were able to get breakfast and miss breakfast. I think there's just gonna be a multiple trip day. There you go. There you go. go. <laughs> Went straight to the barn. loaded up Lambo and that was a lot easier this time so we'll take him and then we'll come back and try to get Hank. Good boy. Good boy. Hank, come here. Lambo. He's easy to yeah. This is your new home. Can you eat some grass for the first time over here? Buddy. It's pretty funny. Normally they're just doing whatever they want, running around, going crazy. Yeah. We got goats sticking their heads out over here though. They got used to it, but you could tell they're still in there. And then uh, these guys will be uh, out here. They're getting used to it, but we got to go get some water, some feed. We got to get the uh, boy goat and then attempt to get chickens and turkeys. And Hank. Uh, oh, and Hank. We'll see how this goes. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Just get in the trailer. Would it calm down? And it's it'll okay. I'll be done with. Can you slide that panel back? Oh, like this. Hey, hey, hey. 
Oh, as you saw, we couldn't get uh, Hank. Uh, we got the, the goat was in there, goat's out or whatever, but we decided to leave the male goat over there with Hank. Uh, twisted my ankle, we ran around, we did everything we could. We didn't want Hank to get hurt, yeah. we don't want you to get hurt. So we brought the uh, water t uh, tank and the uh, water trough and the feed over here. So we're gonna have the water up here by the gate so it's easy for us right over there to run hose and keep it full and then we'll get water for the barn uh, later but for now at least I'll have some uh, uh, water over here but as you can tell they love it up here in the front hey buddies as you can tell we're uh, finally getting water over here easy it's not very far from the water well so that's why we want to move all the animals over here we're loading up all the feed and now we're gonna take it over there Make sure uh, the goats and stuff have water and feed as well. Oh dang. <laughs> so originally when first designed this barn, I figured this first stall over here could be for food We'll probably end up building some type of shelving. We'll uh, gate this off. This will end up being a full pen again eventually. But for now, they'll be good because those are uh, tight locked containers. Uh, but we brought some alfalfa and stuff uh, for the goats. They are clearly ready for it. And uh, we're going to keep these goats in here for a little while just because we don't know when they're going to have the babies. Everyone knows the uh, struggle we had for so long with water, no longer an issue.